right, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who enjoy the longer versions, as you can see, I've put some of the cards away because now we know we're dealing with three people. We have a masculine and two feminines. Let's see what that masculine would say. I'm just shuffling them right now. They're very hard to shuffle. What would the masculine say to the Leo? she sabotaged his relationship uh uh why lord help me i can't send this what can you not send to her i should delete you out of my phone completely so he's angry with the leo can you show us why he's angry with the leo that because they reread all the text messages over and over again and they can't stop thinking about somebody is this love so i think this leo is intercepting your phone is what i think all right what would the person that you're falling in love with say to you that they don't want a relationship why don't they want a relationship that's a lot of cards Thanks for being in my life. I'm in a relationship too, but I'm feeling you. So you're in a situation you can't get out of either. And you're asking, is the grass greener? Well, they might be saying that you're in a relationship and is the grass greener. Damn, you drive me crazy. What am I going to do with you seriously? You know who loves me? Me, but I'd never tell you that. And I'm not a good person. I'm a shitty individual. So somehow they feel like they've hurt you. Alright. What would the Leo say here? The Leo would say, I'm reading all of our texts. Wanting to text you. So this person reads your text messages. And it's late, really late. Why aren't you here next to me? So apparently last night you didn't stay with this Leo. Or some night. And they told me you were full of it. Why didn't they stay with the video last night? Where were they? Where have you been my whole life? And why don't you respond to my text in a reasonable time? So they were out looking for this person that they're in love with. And I think I miss you. Is what it looks like to me. But I'm going to pull some more cards. Show me how this person, this Gemini, show me how the Gemini feels about the new person. If I have a new person and you want to have a new or reverse any role with the new two, show me how the Gemini feels about the new person. How does the Gemini feel about the new person? Or reverse any roles now. I feel so happy with you. How does the new person feel about Gemini? They seem a little disappointed, but I don't know. I can't be with you, and I don't know. I don't want to know. I can't be with you, so I don't want to know what you're up to. What's the Leo saying? You didn't see my tears. So you hurt the Leo. This new person, I don't think they want to be with you. But you feel happy with them. Why don't they want to be with you? Because I can't do this. I'm in a committed relationship. So they're committed to something. A job, a relationship, or something. But they do miss hearing your voice. Alright, show me spirit how this happened between these three people. How did this third party come into being? May I ask you How did this, how did this happen? Love the one you're with. Love can hurt like hell. Effing say it, resentment kills the magic. And you were trying to love the one you were with. So you were with the Leo, you were trying to love them. What was being hidden? A secret relationship with somebody else. But they found out you had somebody and they were like, no, it ain't going there. That's a lot of cards, y'all. Oh, 
I'm not feeling taking that many cards. What's in here? That you were cooking a meal. Why were you cooking in secret? It isn't personal. So you were just cooking and they didn't know that. What's being shown? That you have to stop trying to control everything, shut the F up, and go on a real date. So, okay then, what's going to happen next? You're going to pack your bags. You're going to realize you effed up. And hopefully somebody will forgive you for making this mistake. You have to ask yourself, do you really love this person? And it's time to be an asshole. Why is it time to be an anal? Why is it time for anal? Because somebody won't listen, and you want shit to be different. And you're like, after your feeling, you have logic for a reason, use it. And watch what you say. <clears throat> your friends miss your face. They haven't been able, this person makes you isolate. They don't want you to see your friends. Let's see more about how this happened. Show me more about how this happened, Spirit. Somebody wouldn't change, and they were fantasizing. They're on the verge of telling you something they, that they can't move on, that they fantasize about you, that how they feel about you hasn't changed. Like, maybe you feel like the way they feel about you has changed. What's being hidden is that you're all in their head. What's being shown or they're all in your head? That somebody is having an epiphany. They're working. They're missing you and they feel like you're the one who got away. What's going to happen next? Enough is enough. It's divine time for this, so don't lose hope. So it's time for this relationship to come together. This person has learned all of their lessons. Alright. I'm going to use those in a minute. Let's pull these. Show me more about how this happens, Spirit. You were at a stalemate. You were avoiding this because you didn't have self-worth. And you thought your self-worth was connected to what you do instead of who you are. And you had a lot of memories of somebody. Alright, what's being hidden? Forgiveness. Why are you hiding forgiveness? Because you're wearing a facade. You're wearing a facade. You don't want other people to know that you've forgiven this person. Why not? Why are you hiding this from other people? Because your higher self is here helping you to not be so cold and detached. You've been very cold and detached. And you didn't want other people to know that you wanted this person. All right, what's being shown? Your higher self is here. You're not getting the nurturing and compassion you need. And you're longing for somebody you're separated from. So you're having to make a decision. What decision are they making? To stop fighting, to stop being confused, to stop having regrets, and to celebrate gifts and abundance. And what's going to happen next? You're going to spy on this person and their stability. You're going to spy on somebody who's very stable and who could offer you the same. And it's time for that to happen. But in the past, you suffered a lot of lack. And it's hard for you to trust again. It's hard for you not to feel like you're walking into an ambush. How did this happen, Spirit? Somebody was frozen, but wanted a second chance. Why were they frozen? Damn, the cards keep going on full. Because they were pretending. What were they pretending? That they didn't need to make an apology. What's being hidden? That somebody has lost their spark, and they have a lot of pride and ego. What's being shown? That they don't want to talk to anybody about it. What would, what would they say? They would say that 
there's a lot of intimacy here and they're clinging to this because they feel like they'd be better off in this situation than the one they're currently in and what's going to happen next they're going to have a lot of memories and they're going to stop avoiding this because they realize they rejected somebody or somebody rejected them and they've purified themselves from this they've done a lot of crying all right what would you say out of here for this masculine what would you say to the masculine you would say there's a lot of passion you have a twin flame that has stability and you need to be released from somebody you're on different pages with so you can have abundance this person is interfering in this twin flame. What would you say the person interfering? You would say you need to accept that everything happens for a reason. You've mastered this spiritual lesson and you need balance. You've been playing long enough and it's messing with your finances. All right, what would you say to the other twin flame? You would say somebody's awakening. What do you mean awakening? That they have integrity and new love and that they've learned a spiritual lesson. Put away the computer. Trust its fate that you have a second chance with a friendship. So this started out as a friendship, huh? All right, so let's pull some of these and get you some guidance. I love these cards. They're beautiful cards for guidance. All right, guidance, please. From can't see Oracle of Mystical Moments by Katrin Weltstein. Katrin Weltstein. <clears throat> What would you say to the collective about this relationship? What should the collective do, Spirit? What would be the best thing for the collective to do? Alright. Wow. The perfect key. Not any old key fits this lot. You have to have the perfect key. All right, number 10, flower spirit. Turn right to it. Friendship, soul, tenderness, and joy. This card shows the tender and sensitive flower fairy, the soul of each plant. She listens with all her heart to her friends and provides a soothing caress when their edges are prickly. Be, by enjoying life and keeping the, pl the playfulness in her heart, she is a source of inspiration and joy. Her childlike vision helps her see the good in life, in all things, especially herself. So she's playful and sees the, sees the good in others and herself. Number 27 says this. The gardener, non-judgment, acceptance, and self-compassion. Standing ground in a lush green garden, a woman holds a growing bulb in her arms. Two small houses spring from the plant, and her skirt is transformed into a house. <clears throat> she is the gardener of her soul, the caretaker of her home. Her feelings are flowers of the garden by taking care of herself she keeps growing stronger just sometimes invited guests invade the garden uninvited guests invade the garden intruders like jealousy or shame if we recognize these as neither good nor bad, but something to be investigated and accepted, we can treat ourselves with compassion and keep blooming. So when she sees jealousy or blame, she doesn't internalize that. She just looks at it and she's like, hmm, wonder why they feel that way. 
have I done something to make them feel that way? If not, she's like, poor thing, they're jealous because they're insecure or whatever. Okay, she looks at things introspectively like a therapist almost. And then number 29, the perfect key. Excuse me, I need a sip of Thank you. <clears throat> Happiness, encouragement, <coughs> and unlocking feelings. Remember at the beginning you were having trouble with your feelings? This card shows a woman holding a key in one hand and a cage with a heart in it in the other. There's a bird sitting on the woman's shoulder encouraging her to try different keys with his mouth. Yet the woman has already found the perfect fitting key. She can open the cage and open her heart. Sometimes life is only a search for the right key. There are so many things that are brand new for us to approach. We can have trouble accessing our own feelings. Thanks to friends and family, there are people who can help us find the lost keys to our personal happiness. So somehow this woman has gotten lost. She's been with the wrong person. We see that that person does not want her to be with this new person who I think is a new love and a twin flame. But it could be that she is with the twin flame and this person has a new love. Spin it however you need to spin it. But that's essentially what it's saying. Let's get you some advice just for today. Like some daily advice. That might help you to, I don't want to call it advice, let's just call it encouragement. Because you can take it or leave it, you don't have to accept it and internalize it. Take it or leave it. But what would you say to the collective spirit when it comes to today? Thank you so very much. Spirit would say... I now go beyond other people's fears and limitations, and we see that you have those. I now create a wonderful new job, so you're going to start a new job. All, all my relationships are harmonious, all of them. And I am open and receptive to new avenues of income, so you're working on your money is what you're working on. And my thoughts are created on the bottom of the deck. So yes, you're working on your money. You're trying to rebuild your life. Your love life is here. But it's kind of getting in the way right now because there's just too much going on with it. All right, let's look at your money now that we're talking about your money, okay? What is going on with this collective and the money? Your spirituality is here and you're on crossroads. And I bet you are if you have two people. Because you can only love one person at a time. You can love them both, but you have to love them differently. You've had a loss, and I'm so sorry for your loss. And it's probably you to love your spirituality because that's what's getting you through this loss. I'm so, so sorry for your loss. You have angelic help with your spirituality. Thank you, Spirit. All right, let's pull some cards and see. We had one fallout. Let's see, we had a few fallout. You have a loss. You're at a crossroads, and your spirituality is here. Clarify the loss. Somebody has red hair and tattoos. Clarify the loss. This is what's causing you to come up with a strategy, and you're exploring how you can start something new. Clarify the crossroads. You're activating this new gift of yours that we talked about at the beginning, and you're thinking about taking off and doing a job. Why is spirituality here? Because somebody's health is here there's a counselor here and a designer so you're taking off when it comes to i think mental health and designing a, a new program clarify the outcome of that whoa your animals are here you have recognition so you're going to get recognized people are going to recognize you for your hard work there's going to be a shift 
that leads to a partnership. Clarify the partnership. It has something to do with the past. Clarify what you mean. It has to do with a workaholic. What's going to be the outcome? You're going to be in leadership. And you're going to go slow. Why are they going so slow? Because whoever crafted this and gave you this gift did not use the scientific method. They're not managing their money well and they made some mistakes. Uh, are they going to fix that? Will they fix that? Somebody's working on it now and somebody's doing some spell work, outcome of the spell work. There's going to be, the charity came out in reverse, right? The retail card and a student. So it's like you're going to get financial aid and you're going to go back to school when it comes to retail. Clarify retail. It has to do with your business. So you have a business where you sell something. And you're about to have a new beginning and you have divine timing here and a card turned over in the deck. Oh my God, it was turned over in the deck collective. You're about to have a windfall. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, let's see how the angels would help the rest of us. We saw how they helped the first part of the video. This is part two, the extended version. Let me know if you like these and I'll keep doing them. All right, what would you say to the extended version? How are the angels helping us? They're giving us a relationship and putting people, places, and things right where they need to be for our highest and greatest good. All right, anything else? They're giving us peace, grace, power, and creative power. One more time I'm hearing. They're giving you joy, love, and forgiveness. What? You feeling them vibes on the bottom of that deck. All right, let me pour you one of these and then we'll get out of here. So you can get to work and so can I. All right, I bought the cutest little dress yesterday to wear to work. I'm so excited. I have Creatrix and Princess Gabriel. Man, one card, please, for the collective. That would go perfectly with this reading. One, please. Whoa, that one was determined. I don't know what they are, but they were determined to come out. Determined. That's a lot, Spirit. I'm not going to take them. I'm going to put them back. But if they were meant to, they would be determined to come out again. There we go. That was one of them. And so was that. Alright. We have Be There For You, number four. Can't rely on this person because they're not ready. It's time to let yourself off the hook. Don't interpret the behavior of other people or circumstances around you or outside of your control to indicate something negative about you. Forgive yourself for anything that you feel you've done wrong. You can learn from your choices more easily if you keep, if you stop punishing yourself whether you feel that you've made when you feel that you've made a mistake even the decisions that we regret can help us grow wiser when we swap judgment for compassion sometimes we can only learn what we need to know from what doesn't work out so well at the time forgive yourself have your own back and be good to you and then finch your spirit guide number 11 <clears throat> This person is ready, but they have to have free will to make that decision. It's a good time to experience, experiment with how to best care for your mind, body, and soul. It's not about being perfect. It's about finding what works best for you. You are in a phase of your life 
where giving back to yourself is important. Perhaps you have been sharing a lot of yourself with others, have come through a challenging time, or in the near future will be support will need <clears throat> will be stepping up to a new way to share your creative energy and soul fire than ever before. All that you need to know is that there is that this is the right time to take extra special care of yourself. Please do because I'm struggling with reading this. Finch Spirit Guide comes to you with guidance to care for yourself <clears throat> in a particular way. Finches can become beautifully colored, but only when they eat food that nourishes them. They leave the power of beauty within, but they only need the corner nourishment to be able to transform that potential into expression. You also have beautiful divine potential to shine your light and beauty in the world, but you must feed your soul what it, is, what it needs to do this. Be respectful and loving to yourself and soul. What it needs is this. Be respectful and physical nourishment or emotional energy or even the kind of books you read and entertainment you watch for all has an impact on you. Do you feel better for the experience? Does it nourish you? Does it nourish your soul? The best growth enhancing food for your soul is what that which increases love. Spirit Finch Guide also brings a protection of a celebration of happiness ahead of you and wants you to know that your connection at the spiritual at, 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 that your connection to the spiritual world is real to trust in the messages that you feel from the universe are as they make themselves known to your heart so the universe is showing you that they're speaking to you and you're not sure if it's real or not here is an apparent here is an opportunity to express the truth of your heart Write a letter to yourself or to another or to the universe. You can express your gratitude as you acknowledge your innermost feeling. Let, let, let your love letter be truly loving, for this is a creative expression to attract more and more here and beauty into the world. So write a letter expressing how much you love spirit or whoever, and it'll come back to you. All right. Now, dice, the prayer for today is, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. I have X. R H E S C G number three H F Z T Y R I four G A K L W Q C one I'm seeing something horrible in my head, and I'm not going to speak it out loud. J-M-T-P-M-H-M-9. Somebody is going to see an X, and they're going to have their current person with them, who is also a third party. And it's just sickening. It's very, it makes me sick in my stomach. S P H S R V V six. And the twin flame is sitting over here like, what did I do wrong? You didn't do anything wrong for that. You're just not gonna lower yourself to those standards. 
they have to come. You you have grown up and grown up, and it's time for them to come to you. S F T J F W G seven. R D I M T O B ten. One more time in here. If you don't hear your initials, it doesn't mean it's not your reading. This is just a little something that's just to give certain people who have a lot of doubt. And you just need to know that they're on the right track. P M D L K I B number one. Trinket case is gorgeous reading. I got a little girl, you might have a daughter. Consider your impressions, follow them once in a while. Perhaps uh, a piece of crystal. The love between a mother and daughter is forever. The heart with the wings and the keyhole. A shell with a starfish. The letter N as in Nancy or Nelson or nobody. A teeny tiny little flower. A wave like at the ocean, a cat, a music note, uh huh, an O, like N O, the word is no, and then I have a U, N O U, no U, and then a palm tree. Alright, there was something else I felt that, let me give you something from your best friend. What would their best friend say to them? We did the other, the short version. What would this person's best friend say to them? Oh, I know what I forgot. Call it. Call it out. What does your heart tell you? It's time for you to call somebody out or call something out. And what does your heart tell you? If your heart's telling you that you've been used, call it out. Alright. Where is the masculine at in this situation, spirit? Let me put some of these cards up. Before I, finish. I never do find out where the masculine and feminine are in this situation. And then I want to find out where the third party is as well. There's three people here, spirit. May I please see where the masculine is? The person that the masculine is in love with, whoop, or that's in love with them. There's a Gemini, a Libra. I'm sorry, why did I say Libra? It might be a Libra. There's a Gemini, a Firefly, I think it's a Leo, and somebody else. And I want to find out these people where they are in this situation all right spirit do your magic baby show me where the gemini is where's the gemini taking action the gemini is being guided to take action when it comes to love where's the gemini They're being guided around a barrier. They're being guided through a dark night of the soul. So they've had the loss. Remember the loss? Oh, some came out. They're not... There's a third party and they're taking action on it. So they're not telling you and they're pretending like they're not watching you. But they're taking action on a third party. That could be this third person. 
Uh, the answer is yes. They're dieting. You should, be, should say yes. Okay. Where's the Gemini at here, Spirit? The Gemini has been stuck. They've been wearing a mask, and there's something they don't understand, but they may be trying to understand. Clarify understanding why they're going through this dark stuff. And they're being guided to tell you the answer is yes. Where's the person they're in love with? That's the third party that's ending. Where's the other person? They no longer have pride and ego. What else is going on besides that? They were abandoned because of a karmic partner. What happens to the third party? There's going to be devotion. What do you mean devotion? Divine masculine is going to be devoted. Devoted to who or what? Devoted to any with a soulmate that they are not telling. They're not telling this person and they're not listening to them any longer. Alright. They're very creative also. What's going to happen to Divine Feminine here? The 5D is helping. Helping with what? Helping you to release some grief. And what might happen next? They're going to be reinvented. And what else? Whoa. There's going to be a lot of crying. Something that was on pause is going to be unpaused because of forgiveness. Something they received, their self-worth, and their free will. Why is it all coming out in reverse if the answer is yes? Because they're getting over this and it has something to do with their family. And the spring is here. So I think in the spring this person, if they don't um, live near you, they're probably planning on living close to you. Alright, what advice would you give Divine Masculine here? You're lifting the veil of illusion and becoming more aware of the conscious world around you. A lot of cards. The longing is temporary. No matter how tempting, do not look at their social media. Don't read any communication. Listen to what is said. And spend time with people who get you. With heal any issues you have in your childhood. Alright, what about divine feminine? It feels like it's familiar because it is. You may not get the reaction you want if you divide, decide to tell them you're their swim flame. And it feels familiar because it is. What would you say to the cross watcher? You would say, heal any issues with your father. Expectations lead to disappointment. And learn to love being with yourself because you're going to end up alone. And stop waiting by the phone. A self-empowered person waits for no one. All right, Collective, that is going to be your reading. I do want to get you, did I already get you one of these? Yeah, I did. Okay, all right, that's going to be it then, I think, for today. Let's pull some Oracle cards and see what's coming for you. So, show me what's coming for this Collective when it comes to the Oracle deck. What's coming for this collector when it comes to the Oracle deck? What's coming to Divine Masculine? A career. You're going to have good luck with a career. What about Divine Feminine? Divine Feminine, you're having love. What about the Cross Watcher? You're going to get closure. And you're not going to reconcile. You're going to probably be friends, but that's going to be it. Alright, is there anything? Oh! Oh, I have mercy. Oh, it's flying everywhere. Glad I picked that deck up.
toys went everywhere. You must need a message out of here. Message out of here. What if it isn't true? It's time for your... Okay. The things that you're telling yourself right now, the concrete reasons why you think you don't belong, you can't do it, you won't get there, or you're not enough, or it's not for you. What if it isn't true? Today's soul action. It's time for a soul chat. Close your eyes, put your hands in your, on your heart, <clears throat> and ask the wild one within, what if it isn't true? What else might be possible? Journal your answers. What lie do I need to let go of in order to reach my goal, my truth? How does my body want to move today? When we move, we change our state and raise our vibration. This new elevated state becomes a, a channel for more energy. You are moving your body. Are you moving your body daily? Are you compassionate about it? Do you try? Do you? Is it time to try something new? Today's soul action. How does your body want to move today? Listen and joyfully do. But maybe you need to dance more or just move, walk. Am I focused on what I want most? This was in yesterday's reading. One reason we feel... One reason few of us achieve our dreams for the things that we truly want is we never direct our focus. We never concentrate our power. Most people dabble their way through life, do, never deciding to master anything in particular. Today's soul action, what you focus on grows. Today, ask yourself, is my life a reflection of my values? Or do I need to make an affirmation? <clears throat> Sorry, this is important. Or do I need to make some adjustments? And if you need to make adjustments, prioritize. And then, how can I be more kind to myself and others? Offer more grace in this very moment. What do I believe about money? Do my beliefs match my dreams? And where can I ask for more help in my life? Or maybe you have a hard time asking for help. Sometimes you have to ask for help. Right? Right. <coughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to give you one more thing and then we're going to go. Instant Magic Oracle, what message do you have for the collective? Watch out for those who dare to dim your magic. Watch out for those who dare to dim your magic. How dare they? You be blessed. I love you guys, and I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.